Hi, I'm Bill with Molly. Welcome to Chapter 2 in our video series, Everything You Wanted to Know About Piston Rings. Today we're going to talk about piston ring materials, and there are four still in fairly common use today in the industry, and we wanted to go over all four of them with you. We'll start with the most modern and work our way backwards in this series. Uh, one of them that I wanted to talk to you about is stainless steel. Sometimes you will hear this referred to as GNS. GNS means gas nitride in stainless steel. Uh, this ring is used in a few OE and aftermarket applications, but it's primarily a ring material that you see in performance. Now, the deal with stainless steel is it performs very well, but it has to be hardened. It can't be run into bore without some coating on it of some sort where it will seize against the cast iron liner. It's also expensive, and finally, the coatings that are applied to these stainless steel rings tend to be a bit hard on the cylinder wall and tend to wear the cylinders out. Not a big deal in a performance engine, but with a car or truck that we want to run a couple hundred thousand miles with a ring set, it's not the best choice. Now, what is the best choice for late model passenger car and pickup truck rings is this ring right here that I have in my hands. It's what we call a high alloy carbon steel ring. And this ring is used in about, probably about 90% of the original equipment, cars and truck ring packs today that we sell the OEs. It's a very good material. Uh, we actually form it from a coil of wire and actually form these rings out of a coil of wire. One of the nice things about the high alloy carbon steel ring is it does not need a face coating to be run in the cylinder. So we're making many, many second rings today out of this material also. It is 35% stronger than the cast iron rings that I'm going to show you in a minute here. So all in all, an excellent choice in rings and what we see in most of the aftermarket sets as well as most of the OE business today. Next one we have has been around for years. As a matter of fact, it was around before I was a kid even. And it's what we refer to as ductile cast iron ring. And ductile cast iron rings were used for years in the heavy duty truck and tractor business. And then for years when I was, uh, you know, just starting out in this business, they were used as performance rings. Ductile, as its name implies, means that I can actually take this ring and twist it, as you see here, and it won't crack and break. Now, if I tried that with a gray cast iron ring that I'm going to show you next, we'd have pieces flying all over the studio. So ductile cast iron was popular for years. It's fading rapidly in the ring business. You won't see many ductile iron rings in today's applications. And then finally, talk about fading away. This is the gray cast iron ring that I'm holding in my hand right here. In the gray cast iron ring, it was the ring of choice in the 1940s, 50s, and 60s. Of course, engines back then, they didn't run as hard. Also, they didn't have little tiny pistons like this. See this piston out of a Chevy Cruze? It's got three rings on it. Notice how narrow they are. If I tried to put a gray cast iron ring on this, there's a good chance it would break before I got it installed on the piston. So as you see, there's a reason behind all this. One of the cool things about Molly is because we do so much ring business. Matter of fact, just to give you an example, compression rings like we've been talking about here, we make nine million a month in our plant here in Michigan. Because we make so many rings, we have access to every material I've showed you here. So it's not a one trick pony with us. If we have a customer who says, hey, I want ductile for some reason, we can manufacture ductile. If we have another customer who says, hey, I need stainless steel, I want it PVD coated, we can do PVD stainless steel. So Molly has lots of rings to offer. Hopefully this helps you understand a little bit about each. I'll be back in a week or so with number three in our series.